All right, now through here, we're gonna go right through there. Oh, look at that, and with... Oh, so we have another lap. Howdy doody, everybody. Welcome back to Aunt Reba. Today, I'm gonna be scoot scooting around. What that means is I'm gonna get on this little here Vespa, and I'm gonna show all of you how to start driving a Vespa. Once you're done with this game, you're qualified to go out, buy a Vespa, ride around town. No, you're not. PSA, no, you're not. You can't do that. By finishing this game, you do not in any way gain a license to drive. All right, so without further ado, we're going to jump right in. You know, I want to say a big thanks to Marcus Plyer. I saw him play this game. It looked absolutely fantastic. So I said, you know what? I'm going to watch the dip on the things. I don't get this. They call these cones bollards. What is that? Co bollards, cones, I don't get it. So we start out here. Now what you want to do when you're on a Vespa, you want to make sure your movement is very proper because there's no reverse option. You got to put your feet down to back up. And you don't want to be having to do that because it's very slow. So you're just going to kind of carefully throw here. There we go. Look at that. Look at how careful that is. Boom. Now I hit a cone. That's going to add 0.25 seconds onto my time. That's no good. We don't want to do that. That was just an accident. I need to show you guys what happens when that when that happens. So we're going to turn around here. Now, key thing. On a Vespa, you, you're using handlebars and you're not using the steering wheel. With your handlebars, you're going to go forward and backward like this. And this is how you're going to turn left and right. I know it's not a steering wheel. It's a little bit scarier. But stay with me. Stay together. We can do this together. So let's turn down here and down this. Okay, now we're hitting a lot of cones there. So I'm going to back it up and go back through the cones. We don't want to hit the cones. That's plus time. More time is bad time. You get it? More time is bad time. In life, you want to live longer. In this game, you want to be shorter. All right, now, now we're coming up here. This is a tricky maneuver I'm going to do here. What I'm going to do is this is called drifting. We're going to go around this cone like that. Whoa, look at us. Look at us go. Look at us go. And we're just going to... Okay, I kind of lost control there. We're just going to drift this cone around. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we hit a lot of cones there. We added some time. Oh, and we missed the cone. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn around right here. I'm gonna come right back here. There we go, we hit it. All right, so we added a lot of time. That's not supposed to happen. I don't know what happened. The controls went bad on me. The wasp controls, they went bad on me. All right, come on. Turn around and over the hump, through the layer, into the cheese grilled sandwich. Go over here, around here. You know what? I'm feeling so good about this. I'm feeling so good about this. I shave. I shave. That's how good I feel about it. Um, so then, oh, look. at I know how to do these. We're going to just drift around this guy. Drift around, drift around. And look at that. I didn't even hit any cones this time. You got to live, you got to learn, and you got to live. You don't want to do anything else. All right, live and learn. Live and learn. All right, then through here, some easy touches. Nice. Well done, Vespa King. Here we come. You know, I'm so glad that you guys all showed up to learn from Mount Reba. I'm hoping that by the end of this video, half of you is ready to ride a Vespa. And uh, if that's true, then we're probably in trouble. Please don't do this, all right? Please don't go out and get a Vespa. Uh, would not recommend. All right, now through here, we're going to go right through there. Oh, look at that! And with... Oh, so we have another lap. We have another lap. I'm sorry, everybody. We have one more lap to... Two more laps, it looks like we're going to go through. So... What I'm going to do here is now we're going to try to speed it up a little bit. I don't know why there's a pill on the back of my jacket, but I don't condone that. I don't condone that, all right? Who who, who did that? All right, don't. Yeah, yeah, all right. In the, okay, cones. Nice. Not, oh, great, 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 great. Just add in time. Just add in time. I love adding time onto my time. Come through here and power. The faster we go through there, the more time they're going to take away. It's called a speed break for us, all right? Speed break. Then, okay, hit some more cones. Perfect. Perfect! I love hitting cones. I love hitting cones. It's my favorite thing to do. You know, why don't I just go over here and hit some more cones? All right, okay, right there, and we're gonna, okay, we're gonna drift right around this thing like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, a little wide. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, I didn't hit this one. I'm gonna come back around. Drift it twice. Well done, well done. And look at that. Reba's on her way. Reba's on her way. It was so easy, so simple, like making spaghetti with meatballs. Now, if you make a spaghetti and you don't put in meatballs, is it really spaghetti? You know, is it really spaghetti? In the comments below, you let me know what you think. You know what I'm going to tell you? No, it's not spaghetti. That's not spaghetti if you don't have meatballs in there. What are you doing? All right, back to the best spot. And we're going to go drifting, drifting, drifting. Oh, beautiful work, beautiful work. Reba, you're so good at this. Can you teach me how to drive a Jespa? Well, what do you think I'm doing? I'm teaching everybody how to do the dress for thing. All right, hitting cones, that's okay. Everyone makes accidents sometimes. Um, even Reba, 
Then we're gonna come back through here. Perfect, perfect. Speed balls. Nice walk. Good walk. Good walk. Then back through here. Weaving and waving. Weaving and waving. And through the cones. Oh, barriers done. Okay. That was a great lap. That was a great lap. We're gonna try and do even better though. I think we can. I think we can. And you know what? You might not think so, but believe me. If there's anything I know, it's Vespas. If there's anything I know, it's Vespas. Come through here. Oh, look at all these cones I'm hitting. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come through here. Oh, another cone. I love hitting cones. Speed bolster. Nice. Well done. I almost got a half second off my time. I really need that. I really could use that. All right, then back down through here. We come around. Okay. Drifting, drifting, drifting. I'm the king of the drifting, all right? The king of the drifting. You can't stop Reba when she's going for, for the Vespa drifting session, all right? Vespa drifting. All right. Back it up. And put it forward. Hit the gas, baby. Hit the gas. Now, for those of you that don't know... Um, in fact, I may not know, but I do believe some Vespas and for sure other scooters, you need to know how to shift. That means you go from first, second, and third gear. Um, for me, in this course, I think first gear is going to do ju justice for everything. All right, back it up. Hit the cone twice. That's all right. You know, sometimes you got to hit it twice. Come back through here and back through there. Look at this bob and weave. Look at this bob and weave I got going on, all right? Look at this bob and weave. So we're going to come back through here real easy, real soft. And back around. Okay, bounce off that barrier. And then through the hoop and around and across the finish line. There we go. There we go. With only 5 minutes and 29 seconds, Aunt Reba did the dirty. Submit that time. All right. So, we got 529. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, you do. I'm thinking I can beat that time. So, we're going to go back in there. And we're going to scoot, scoot around. All right. We're going to go scooting around. We're going to get a better time. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Go. All right. Throw here. Oh, really, really off to an uneasy start. That's all right. Oh, I hit the cone. Back. It up. Okay. We're not doing well, but that's all right because I got a long race ahead of me. I got a long race ahead of me. That means there's plenty of mistakes to be made still. And okay. Way too fast through that cone. I'm going to put it in reverse. Not hit another cone. There we go. This is what I got to be doing. This is what I got to be doing. Now, speed booster through there. Look at that. I got a half second off. That's the best time I've done so far. We got to take those seconds off because you know I'm going to be hitting those ballers. Who calls this a baller? I don't even know what a baller is. Well, I guess it's a cone, actually. They told me. All right, now Aunt Reba's going to go to the drifting session. You know, I just feel like a crazy maniac when I play video games. I feel like a crazy maniac that just rambles and rambles. I don't know what you guys think. Um, but if you're learning something from this, hit that like button because uh, many people are watching this and thinking, who the f is this guy putting on a wig acting to be an aunt? Well, I'm not acting anything, all right? This is me. This is my true form, okay? Some people don't like it. Well, you know what? All right, get down here through the cones. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we got a little drifting going on here. Swing that back wheel out. Oh, and run into the barrier. Now, right through here. This first lap is not looking too good for us. And I got to say, oh, I didn't go through that fast enough. I got to say, I think I can do better on the second lap. I, I think I really can do better. Oh, look at that. There we go. Now we're getting some good times in. All right, hit, hit that a little bit. Okay, that one too. You know what? Let's just hit all of them. Let's just, you're going to hit two of them, hit three of them. It's good. It's a good luck thing. You wouldn't get it. It's a good luck thing. All right, back through here and over the top. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Speed booster. Yeah, give me that half second of time, baby. Give me that half second of time. All right, spin it around. Yes, I did hit a cone, but who cares? We don't know. We, we edit that part out. And then straight throw, straight throw. All right. Now, instead of drifting here, I'm going to try and just really easily... Really, you know, accurately swing my wheel around. Come back down through here. Oh, that's a pillar. We're not supposed to drive through those. Okay, well, I haven't got my license yet. That's why I'm playing Scoot Scoot. Get through here. Oh, across the way. Let's hit a bunch of cones on our way over there. Oh, more cones to hit. I love it. I love it. Let's hit some more cones. Just drive over them. Just reverse over the cones. You know what? All right, there we go. And, and we got cones all over the place now. We got cones all over the place. All right, come through here. Relax, Aunt Reba. You can... Leave the cones alone. They don't like you. You don't like them. We can mutually agree on that. Come through here. Oh, look at that bob and weave. Look at that bob and weave. Through the, through the time booster thing. Okay. You know what? Get the gas going. Let's move it on, Reba. Let's move it. What are you doing out here? And through here and across the finish. Oh, that was only the second lap. I got bad news for everybody. Aunt Reba's blowing it. Yep, that's right. I'm blowing it. This is not looking good for any of us. Um, come around there. Okay, cones. Oh, I love that. 
Oh yeah, let's hit all the cones. So great, awesome. Okay, only a 0.49 seconds decrease. That's okay, I, I'm in the zone here. I'm in the zone, I'm not in the zone. I'm hitting cones. If you're hitting cones, you're not in the zone. Don't lie to yourself, Onriba. Don't lie to yourself. Don't don't put up a bad example for everybody out there that's trying to learn how to drive a Vespa and watches this video and decides to buy one. You know what? You could be causing some accidents. Well, you, yeah, I could. Don't do that. All right, more cones. Let's come over here through. Oh, look, another roundabout thingy do that. Okay, coming around. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Put it in reverse. Go forward. You know, Markiplier was a lot better at this game, I think, than I am. But you know what? He's a pro. I'm not a pro. I'm an amateur in the making. So I, I'll get that someday. I'll get that someday. At least that's what I need to believe. If I'm going to do this right. Oh, 0.25. That's nothing. That's nothing. You can barely get. That's one cone off your slate. Come back around and through the, barri through the barriers. And across the finish line. Look at that. We took over a minute off our previous time. I got to say, guys. I'm good. I'm good at this game. You know what? They call it scoot scoot. You get on a scooter and you scoot scoot around around the cones or the ballads if you want to call them. Let's put my name back in here so we can get at the top of the boards. Aunt Reba was here and to stay. Okay. Oh, I hit the caps lock. That's why it's looking so funny. Was, was here. You can spell Aunt Reba. All right. You know what, guys? That's going to do it for this episode of Scoot Scoot. I'm Aunt Reba. I shaved. I hope that you guys got some knowledge inserted into your brains today. And until the next time, go eat some spaghetti and meatballs.